Howdy folks, we got something new in today. It's uh, it's kind of big. It's uh, yeah, for doing laser leveling and running flooring or construction or hanging anything, hanging pictures, uh, whatever it is you're into. This is the tool to get the lines out there so you can see exactly straight on what you need or what you're doing. It's a biggie. Oh yeah, we're gonna get into it today. I've discarded the box so we can get to the goodies. And inside the box was a box with a handle. So yeah. But well let's let's take a look to see what's uh, what comes in this set. This is a complete laser kit. And it has, well, when we open the box, we're presented with uh, of course the little the manual. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> also a charging cable. Uh, this is gonna be really interesting and confusing because where you charge it is different. It comes with a little wall charger, so we can plug the USB into this, and now we're ready to charge the batteries. Unlike anything I've ever seen, this one here is a little bit different. I actually thought these were the old Sony uh, batteries that you see on everything these days. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is charge the batteries before you get into this thing, but uh, this is the first problem you're gonna stumble into is, where, you know, okay, I've got a charger. Where do I plug it in to charge these batteries? <laughs> absolute wildness because when you look at these batteries uh, this is where the plug actually goes and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a close-up of that because that is just so <laughs> focus yeah, that is so different from what you usually see so when I first got this kit out the first thing I looked at was you know where's the charger for these batteries you know like I've got two batteries where's the charger for it apparently the batteries are the batteries and the charger. So it's all sort of like a one unit thing going on here. And then of course there's a little green light on in here or red if it's charging and it comes green. So it's okay, the batteries are full. So we'll get this uh, full battery. And of course the batteries just pop in the back. Uh, that part's not too hard to figure out, you know, but uh, that charger had me stump. On and off switch right here. Boop, no, there we go. Oh yeah, we got, and the lasers are firing away, yep. Yep, and she's beeping. Okay, she's level right now. When she's not level, you know, obviously you're gonna get a warning. There's a card in here that's going to, that you can set up to help hit with the level at distance, especially. If you're into a do-it-yourself project, something like this can really, you know, take it a long way. Also comes with a really cool little stand. Let's see if I can get this out of the bag. With three points up here. And this is all can be dialed in, again, to level the leveler. Shall we say that? And also on the top, you're gonna to see three buttons. Let's see if I can get this without flashing my... <laughs> you need to come over here and see this, okay? <laughs> yeah, so once we have it out of the box, here's the laser head itself. And you'll notice there's three of these modules on here, I guess we'll call them. And the cool thing with these is they actually can be dialed in. You can actually turn these and dial them if you need to adjust your laser line, you know, here at the laser head itself. So you have that option. I'm gonna turn the power on here for a second and see if we can get this. Uh, see, there's nothing on the counter right now. And, oh, I haven't got the vertical on, so there, there we go. So now I've got the vertical system on, but I also have horizontal. And you also, you know, so you have back here, you, well, and shut it off. Okay, and back here we have the three different modes for the horizontal and the vertical. And it also comes with a nice mount for a tripod, so you can mount this thing, but also in the box, of course, you've got this really cool little tripod, of course, which is completely, you can dial this thing in and, you know, level it up, but there's more. Uh, there's also the plate, which I think, uh, I don't know if I've showed you the plate yet, but you can put this at distance and you can target this thing at distance if you need to for when you're shooting something a long way with a laser, something like that is really cool to have. They also have, and this is kind of neat, uh, a plate where you can mount this plate and you see this little item here is kind of a cool little adjustment table, work table that you can turn and that way you can adjust and bring, you know, dial your la laser in to where you need exactly that shot to be done if you're taking a laser shot against something in order to get you know straightened out. So it has quite a few features and we're not done yet. Yeah, we're not done yet. No, 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 no. We also have this little tripod mount, this little beauty right here. And again, this can be set up to work with uh, the laser. And also, uh, again, you've got the really fine dials, dial modes here. So you can turn this up or 
turn it down, also turn this way if you need to. And this can all be, and this has got a magnetic base to it, so it will, well, let's put the plate on it here and just, yeah, there you go. And uh, again, ooh, oh wow, Ugh, yeah, it's a good, good set of magnets in there. So, if you put it too close to yourself, you'll wipe out your charge card, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then also we have a, yep, a remote with uh, what looks like an old cell phone from the 680s or whatever there with the uh, gigantic antenna. You remember those. And again, you have the horizontal, the vertical, and of course the, uh, what do they call that? Let's let's have a quick look at that thing and just see what they give. They have a name for that. This one here, which is kind of a strange symbol. Here, I'll show it to you that way. Uh, this is the tilt line mode. And there's the vertical, there's the horizontal. Isn't that cool? Do you, are you guys see, checking this out? Are you seeing this? Huh, huh, huh? Yep, I'm gonna turn it on and off. And there's the tilt mode. And there's the horizontal, which will be showing, shooting this way, so you can't, well, you can see it on me or something, maybe. Let's turn the vertical back on. That is, look at that. And then you can have them both. That is cool. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> All right. So, I didn't have to dial that in or do anything to lock the remote in. It's got batteries, too. Let's have a look at the batteries in this thing. Just, I'll bet it's a pair of double A's or something. Okay, we can't get the battery case open, because that's the way... Manufacturing. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. It's one of those little specialty 12. Uh, I think it's a 12 volt. Yeah, 12 volt. Eight, the, uh, the 23A. You can buy these at places like Lowe's and Walgreens or whatever. So it's, it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of a more of a specialty battery. Got a little bit better on price. It used to be really expensive to buy that battery. It's not as bad as it used to be. Let's shut this off again for a second. Oof, man, we are a mess today. Uh, so I keep mentioning uh, flooring for a reason. I've got a hallway into a master bedroom at the house here that I ran uh, laminate flooring through and it was about 45 feet long. What the experts uh, said was use a laser if you have one. If you don't have one, then a chalk line. You know, a chalk line would be, you know, lay out a chalk line and just follow that. Well, a couple of problems and the first one was after we ran the chalk line, the work uh, commenced with the level, with the laminate flooring and we ended up basically wiping out the chalk line and there was like five and ten foot areas where the chalk line had been wiped out completely so something like this would have been absolutely awesome for doing that kind of work because the laser would have just been there you know and then once the chalk line is covered up you don't have it for reference anymore so you start it you start going on like i hope we've got it right because now we're not going to know there's no way to check well with this, you could move over and shoot a new line with the laser, and again, it's gonna stay there while you work through. And so something like this is just, it's a strange tool for a lot of us, but at the same time, there's a lot of places around the house, like even like I said, hanging pictures even. Uh, when you have like two pictures, two paintings or something, and you want them you know, exactly leveled up with a laser or something, that way they'll never bother you. If you're like uh, that TV show, is it Monk or something, you know, looking at it and, so this way you get it lasered up, it's like, it, it's right on. But also working on any small projects even, or large projects, a laser line like this laid down, it's it's just a straight line that can, you just put it wherever you want it, boom, you know, you have a laser line and you can work off of that. So they're really a great little tool. This one here is quite the little gadget. <laughs> it, it comes with more features than I would know what to do with it at times, but it would, anyone that's a, uh, you know, do it yourself or, or small con time contractors or even big time contractors, something like this is going to really get the job done and give you that, that straight line shot that you need for reference for whatever type of work you're involved with that you're doing. This is an interesting item and we have, I believe we have a sale price on this, at least I hope we do. They sent this over to me and we were supposed to show it. We were probably gonna show it weeks ago, but uh, we've had so many other things going on with the bookings and stuff. It was like, we kind of got behind. It was like, man, somehow we gotta get this uh, laser up here on the show. So I, finally Thursday was like, I really have other things that I need to do, but it was like, you know what? We gotta do this because it's here. It's been here for a while. It's been waiting on me, you know, like let's get this shown. And the other thing I was gonna show you, and I didn't get a chance to do it, was with this magnet base, is that uh, you can, in, in this case here, yeah, you can line it up, slide it into your holder here, and that way, here, we'll see if we can turn it on. And let's see, we'll get the vertical and the, I'll do the vertical and the horizontal. Actually, I don't know if you guys can see that, so here, I'll put it on me. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, you know, 
That's the only thing that's driving me a little crazy is that beep, beep, beep thing right now, but it's there for a reason. Let's face it, you know, like you want it level. And that's why the alarm, you know, <laughs> but what a cool gadget. Mm. Okay, let's talk about uh, some of the features here because uh, this has, a, as you saw, as I showed you the tilt mode uh, functionality, which can make your job a lot easier, but also has soft leveling, automatic asserts the right level. Uh, class two laser, notably brighter and longer range. It has upscale, high visibility, green beam uh, compatible with sunlight. So in other words, outside in the sunlight, you can still see the green beam, which, you know, that's a big thing when you're trying to work with a laser. And also extends workable range up to, they're saying, 100 feet uh, indoors, actually. So that's, you know, again, decent. Supported range is extended up into 165 feet outdoor pulse mode, which that pulse mode will really help you if you ever have to do something outside, because I have tried that in the past and it has been a bit of a bear with other uh, systems. The uh, lithium ion uh, power battery will last for most uh, job layouts. Uh, they're saying that charging time is about three and a half hours, but the uh, fully charged battery should run you up between eight and 10 hours in total use time. So that's, again, you know, that's, that's about what you need for, for a whole day. Adjustable brightness suit for different light needs, so that's a that's a cool item too. And C-type interface, easily for more extended periods of use. The remote control, obviously, that's great because it means you don't have to mess or touch the laser. You can just simply hit the button on the remote, and you don't knock the laser off or you know throw your settings out kind of situation, which is really great. It's a fast, simple, easily uh, system. Can be mounted to a host of service you know uh, service areas and uh, surfaces and stands so yeah awesome little product big shout out to uh, Greg this week who went under the knife and uh, apparently he survived the surgery so his wife's gonna put the insurance papers back in the drawer for now uh, the model on this one is the TD 165 a-g16 style name is the a16 top dash s I will put all that in the description below with a link where you can find this puppy. Yeah. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notice bell. And we will have a prize next week to be given away, I'm pretty sure. I guess that's what that looks like. Mm. But meantime, uh, I'll see y'all. I think we'll see y'all Monday. I might have a project for this week, and then I might be releasing this kind of uh, very strange, very unusual. Meantime, I'm out of here. Over. Out.